Yo, what's going on? This is K&E's Kitchen. We about to cook some oxtails today. Yo, these drones about to be crazy today. So. About to wash my hands. We got some apple cider vinegar. <clears throat> We're gonna pour this in a bowl. And we're gonna let that thing sterilize for a minute. So, we're back. Um, I soaked the um, oxtails for 20 minutes. I have put a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of accent, and some jerk seasoning, and some meat tenderizer. So now we're about to go over to the stove. But now we're about to sear these things for 10 minutes on both sides. And I got some infused extra virgin olive oil. So now we're about to put these things in the pot. We're gonna make that thing work. <clears throat> so now we're gonna let this sear for 10 minutes on both sides and we'll be right back. Yo, Ken. What's up? Let him know what's good, bro. Yeah. Do not forget to subscribe. Like, yeah. Please subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you like. Show us. Show us some love and support. Everybody was requesting oxtails, so they got oxtails. Later this week, someone wants mac and cheese, they're gonna get mac and cheese. You tell us what you want. Yeah. You heard him? Do your job. Hit that like button. You know. Come here, y'all. Check this out. We're staring these things up. Yo, these things about to be really good. Yeah, Ken? This is a Chef Ken thing out here. Yo, Dylan, why do you have the camera going out? We had to fucked up. Yo, we coming back 10 minutes on one side. So now we about to see sear the other side for 10 minutes. Yo, these things looking right, right. They looking real good, Ken. Of course, it's a Chef Ken thing. I've never had an oxtail before. Oh, you gonna learn today. All right, so we about to pour some water. We did uh, 10 minutes on both sides. I'm about to pour some water in this container. My boy, Eddie Love, he sauteed those things. He'll be on the camera next doing his thing. So now what I'm about to do is pour this water in here. Get a little moist, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna sprinkle some onions, peppers. So we're gonna let this heat up a little bit. And my boy Eddie Love, he about to do his thing right now. I'll saute some peppers for y'all. Get some garlic bread going. Yeah. And a little bit, not right now. I have to have to say something. Come here, though. This is about to take two hours to cook down slowly so they can fall off the bone. And um, we're gonna smother them in some gravy. And then once we get the, um, the pasta done, everything will be all perfect. <clears throat> Yo, 
All right, so now we're coming back to these oxtails. <clears throat> now this is what they're looking like. Um, they're getting nice and tender to fall off the bone. Yo, this, this juice is so amazing. It smells so good. So right now we're about to do the pasta. We're doing penny rigatti. So now we're about to put it in this hot water right here. And what olive oil does, it doesn't have the noodles stick together. So we got my man, Eddie Love over here, sauteing the peppers. Also put a little bit of olive oil in there. Just put a little bit of olive oil and everything in there and you start to season it. Pour some Alfredo sauce. And we got some four cheeses, Mexican style. We're also gonna mix some mozzarella and Parmesan. So now, Eddie Love then whipped up some onions, peppers, mixed peppers, sauteed them. And now I'm about to pour them in here. Now this sauteed peppers <clears throat> gave this a little color to it. So now what I'm about to do is, I'm about to add some jerk seasoning. It's about to be so delicious. And that's the oxtails. So now, we're about to um, pour the penny rigatti in the cheese sauce. Oopsies. I'm about to stir this thing up. Again. All right, so we're making some garlic bread, but we're gonna do it with some homemade garlic sauce after we're done. So you put the like uh, the oven on 400. Butter yeah, Eddie Love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Look at this. Yo, look at this. Do it. Yeah, my man over here chefing it up. You dig? You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, crazy, yo. Know, I mean, you gotta cut the butter. Nah, then you let it sit. Alright, so look, you put a whole stick of butter and then wait till that's all done. I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley. You see? And minced garlic. So we're gonna let that sit, sit for a little bit. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. All right, so look, I make a one spoonful. That's all you need. And just let that sit in there for a little bit. Just enough. About to butter these biscuits or bread. But it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, you got it. <laughs> so now we're about to sprinkle some Mexican cheese, four cheeses on this thing. I like to make my own garlic bread. <clears throat> I'm not gonna waste my money at the store and I can just create my own stuff. 
and have it 10 times better. A lot of people don't like to take the time to make their own stuff, but you be in a rush. But I learned as a young kid, <clears throat> take time creating your own dishes. Preach to him. You know what's crazy though? Preach to him, Pop. Women love when a man can cook. <clears throat> Cause you'd be surprised. A lot of women nowadays, whew, it's crazy, y'all. They don't even know how to boil a pot of water. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so now we're about to put this back in the oven <clears throat> and let the cheese melt. Look, we just put some cheese, put it in the oven, you sprinkle a little bit of parsley, just a little bit, each one. I got my boy Chef Eddie over here. Just a little bit. Chef Eddie Love. This is how we do it. It's a Jersey thing. You feel me? We cook good food. We don't cook no nasty food. Everything is good. From the heart. From the heart, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Make sure you Chef Ken and the Eddie Love thing. If you did, that's your Chef Ken and the Eddie Love thing. Now, shit, too spicy. Watch this. Mmm. This right here. This joint is crazy, yo. Send this out, Ken. Man, I just want to tell you guys this. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let us know what you want us to cook. Um, I'm happy that I have a lot of subscribers, people copying, uh, commenting on our plates, dishes, and everything. But uh, go follow Ken's Kitchen on Facebook, KJ Solicious on Instagram, K&E's Kitchen on YouTube. Y'all have a blessed night. I'm out.